Hello, YouTubers. It's me, the poet of pleasure, the Monday Messiah, the Sunday sermon, the only free time, free time, free time. KC Chess Champion Marcus the the storms, baby. So, a little old school intro there for you there. Very, very much out of the room. Currently on my computer screen now, I've got a picture of a young bone duster there. Back in, uh, when did I record this bad boy? June 20th, 2016. Just before this fucking, it's been fucking three years, man. Fucking three years. Fucking over three years, isn't it, for this fucking EU bullshit? And ne nearly at our final stages. And there's always one last twist in the myth. Now, you know, anybody that knows watching my old channel there, I don't really, don't really talk about this very often. But it's interesting, really, with um, this current stage. What are we thinking, yeah? We're going to stop democracy, the standard democratic institution of parliament. To try and save democracy. It's a bit odd isn't it. That's the odd thing about it. See if you watched this video I did back in 2016. You do a little bit of research. You do a little bit of digging. Go off the mainstream media. Such as Bias. BC. British Broadcast. I thought it was BCC for a second. Now it's BBC. The British Broadcasting Company. Bias as fuck. Against the left. That might be coming up as right because it's mirrored image. But you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Left, in it? Might be this. Don't know. Woo. What are you doing now with his left? But there you go. <laughs> Fuck me. Be slight tangent there. But no, Boney. It's letting you know, yeah. Back then, I said in this little video, and it will say a little video, it's 53 minutes long. Try not to make this 53 minutes long. That there's a lot of things that the left wants to do, which is against the rules of the EU. An article afterwards actually written, not in the grand scheme of things, not too long ago, there's an article on a website called counterfire.org. They've got .org in their URL, so it must be, you know, legit to some level. And this was written in November 5th, 2018. Five things a Corbyn government can't do if we stay in the EU. I'm going to read the whole fucking thing. There's like re-nationalisation... Re too many syllables there. Of like the public services, state intervention in the economy, you know, focusing more on made in Britain stuff, things made in Britain, greater role for trade unions, and the exportation of migrant labour. You know, that's one of the things. Those things you wouldn't be able to do, or you know, you would be shaking their finger angrily at, because it's against their rules. You know what I mean? And that was like one of the reasons why I decided to vote for Brexit. You know, I voted for the winning team, so I feel a bit smoked for that. But no, that's one of the main reasons I voted for Brexit there. Also things like how our rail service here in Britain is basically just paying subsidising... Subsidising? 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 You know what I mean. It's basically paying. I'll just use the word fucking simple word, paying, that I can actually say. Paying for the rail services in Europe. I think a French company owns a lot of shares in the um, private companies that own the British railway system. Whereas if it was public, then welfares would go down. I don't drive or get any old choo-choo places. I don't know why I did this for choo-choo, but there you go. So stuff like that's what, you know, reasons why I voted for the old Brexit. And I voted it... Also, thirdly, I guess, um, for the fact that it's democracy, in it? I mean, so you get some members of the European Parliament, but then you get like, the European Council, or whatever it's fucking called. Sort of the hidden higher-up, well, they're not hidden, everyone knows they're there, but sort of the unspoken about higher-ups, this European Council, is isn't voted in for by anybody. And they're the ones that make the majority of the rules. Don't like that, I like democracy, mate. Absolute power, mate. Flips absolutely. You get the, you get, you get everybody voting. It's very hard to control, and where everyone gets a little say, a little piece of the pie. Boom, boom. So that's why I voted for it. Vote for the old Brexit. Get that old democracy, that true democracy, in. 
power to the papes. You don't always have to agree with everybody. A lot of people are morons out there. Barney ain't gonna lie to you. But it's better than, you know, a few people with the brains controlling everything. But now, we've got this problem, haven't we? We've got this problem. Because obviously we voted for our parliament geezers. Who we've gone, okay, fair enough. They're going to represent us now. Okay, cool, cool. They're going to represent us. So now it's got into parliament and they bash it out. But they're going to suspend parliament just before this. And they're going to have a little time before them. Did a little bit of reading on the old uh, internet. Little time when they come back in October, you know, but not a lot of time, not a lot of time to give it a good whole hashing out. So they stop democracy. Does it might to save it's very very confusing now. You stop democracy to save democracy. Where do you go? Where do I go? That's what I make where do you go? I don't know. I was gonna ask the Lord and Saviour of the far left, George Galloway, but he hasn't made I haven't seen him make a video on this yet. So fuck you, George, what are you doing, mate? I'm doing the far left needs you, mate. Jesus, it's fucking hot, mate. It's fucking. It's hot in my house. Living in a terrace house. I've got a cat, so hot Holly doesn't want me to open any windows or anything while the cat's running about. So I'm spoiling, boil. There you go. But now I've no idea, no idea what what to do, what to think. <laughs> no, you know we voted for Boris. No, we voted for Team Team A. No, we voted for Team A. But they did, they, did, they did vote for the Tories. Would we have that same outrage for not voting for the, our Prime Minister if Dame Cameron had just died in an accident? Don't know, mate. Don't know, do you? you? But probably not. Probably not. So, is this all part of the old... Fa- is it all fair game? Is it all fair game? Should they just do their fixed term and doesn't matter if they swap the leaders about willy-nilly? But then they start changing their policies because even at the same party, they're different flavours of the same meat. You know, you get your teriyaki chicken or you get your barbecue chicken. You still vote for chicken, but they're giving a different flavour on it now. Not good. I uh, don't know. I mean, there's not really much we could do now. We could all march the streets, but people aren't that organised. People are very, you know, ap- you know, apathetic. Not empathetic. The other one, they're not really into it. It's not like in the olden days where you'd all rebel, the old parliamentarians against the cavaliers and the roundheads, you know, the English Civil War, whatever they were called. They're not into it. So I, I don't know what to do, guys. I really don't. To end in democracy to save the greater democracy. Is that what we're going? Is that the angle? Is that the angle we're going for? So, I don't, I don't get it, mate. I read, he was listening to his video. He pass some bills. He loves his bills, spilling and dilling. I don't know why suspending Parliament gets the bills through. Don't you need Parliament to get the bills through? Don't know. Got to do Queen's speech. Don't know why he needs Queen's speech. She's already promised. <laughs> Jace, is it going to happen? Who knows? Holloway. I think it's going to happen. Holloway. I think, I think it's going to happen. I think it's going to be. P, P, people don't focus enough. But do I think people should do it, mate? Is, is, is it the game we made? Is it the game we vote for? Just, do we need to change it? We had a chance to change the votes a few years ago. With the old Nick Clegg there selling his soul, selling his word there. To get his proportional representation vote through and not many people came out to vote and didn't get through, did it? No. So maybe this is everybody's fault for being um, not getting involved a few years ago. Maybe it was that. Don't know. Yeah, it's a bit of a ramble, really. It's really made any sense. I think I'm over, my last video when I actually did this back in uh, 2016 was a lot better. It's probably why it was 53 fucking minutes, mate. There's some links to articles and everything. I'll put a link to this uh, little article with the old, uh, you know, four things that Corbyn government can't do if we stay in the EU. Never heard of Count Farm. Might be legit. Don't know. Yeah, that was, all right. that was also a thing where Portugal anti-austerity budget provokes Brussels showdown. So you do some anti-austerity measures, which is what Corbyn, you know, people like Corbyn are very anti-austerity. Get too anti-austerity. EU goes, nah, mate, nah, mate. There's a EU deficit target, bullshit. You know, sometimes you've got to spend a bit of money to help your people, and then that will boost the economy, won't it? You've got to spend a little, get a bit back, you know, that's all businesses. That's what Alan Sugar did, didn't he? In his little sh- corners, little London shop corners or market corners or whatever the fuck he did. And then he's got a big empire on it. But now I'm going to stop this ramble now. I'm not making any sense and I don't even know what to say. 
Does it help me? No. Might be able to talk a little bit about it at work now. <laughs> so, spend some time and give it some thought. Um, if you got any ideas, leave them in the comments, mate. Hope you all enjoy uh, this little ramble. I've been uh, Boney Bay. Oh, that, no, I'm not called Boney Bay, I'm called Baron Duster or Marcus, but yeah. There you go. Hope you enjoyed this video. Have a nice evening. Uh, let's all pray together. <laughs> let's something get sorted. Let's watch it. Bye bye for now.